Hello friends, it's your buddy Keith and I am here live in the control room at the world famous Essex Recording Studios just outside of London in South End on Sea, England. And today we've got probably the most epic unboxing video we've ever done. Might be the most epic one we ever will do because I've got a huge announcement to make guys. I have the full entire collection of Vinnie Paul's drums, his snare drums, his whole snare drum collection that um, he actually had on display in his house is here in our studio right now. It's right down here in a giant box that just arrived from Texas. I can't wait to show it to you. I actually have one of his snares right here. It's one of his signature D drum snares. It's got a gazillion signatures on it. And I thought that was cool because it's brand new. It's never been played and it has loads of signatures from the Dean guitar and Dorsey's that all arrived in London for the annual Dean Owners Association huge party in 2010. That was really, really cool. Then a few weeks ago, I saw the auction come up for Vinnie Paul's estate. And in that auction were some incredible things. In fact, behind me, if you look uh, right about there, there's a guitar underneath our studio sign here in the control room. That's the last guitar Dime ever ordered. And it's a one of one Dean Stealth USA Custom Shop Razorback. We did an unboxing video for that. That's like going viral right now. It's really, really crazy. It's getting thousands and thousands and thousands of views a day. Um, but also in this collection was a lot of personal effects from Vinny. So we actually got two pair of his boots and they fit me, that's pretty cool. And uh, we have a huge, 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 huge pearl marketing sign announcing Vinnie Paul as a endorsee and having his own pearl signature snare drum, which is incredible. In this collection, there's his first ever uh, pearl prototype. There's like, there's a couple pearl prototypes of his signature. I think there's like two different finishes. Uh, there's serial number one, the first ever D drum snare from that brand. So he had Pearl, he had D drum. We've got that. And uh, I even have, and this is the only one in the world, his personal signature D drum kick pedal. Uh, that's hanging out right here. Let me, let me go off camera for a second. I'm going to show it to you, but we'll get, we'll get a little bit more Whoop, dropping stuff. <laughs> we, uh, We've got his signature kick pedal here. It's actually got his name kind of like etched in at the top. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it here, but we'll show you more up close in, uh, in a little bit. <laughs> Maybe if I get it back by my face, there we go. And then if you look at the top, you can see his signature right there. Cool, I'll put that back. Um, yeah, guys, really cool stuff. Can't wait to show you. So we're gonna change angles here, go to a different camera, and you're gonna see with me in real time all of these incredible snare drums. And they're not just his signature snare. Some of them are, uh, there's a Pearl Masters snare. Beautiful, beautiful snare. I think there's another hand hammered one. There's a signature snare that belongs to another drummer that's also in here. So it's all really, really cool stuff. And some of these he, uh, he used in the studio. He recorded with them, he toured with them. They're all used, they're all played. And they were hung up on the wall in his home, that super famous home. I think his swimming pool was shaped like a Crown Royal bottle. Um, and he had them on display for everyone to come see on the on a main feature wall when they came into his house. So all of these super important snares that were retired from Pantera, Damage Plan, and, and hell yeah, we've got them here in the studio. And anyone can come see them, touch them, play them, record with them. That's what it's all about, guys. So um, yeah, enough of me blabbing here. Let's change the angles and go see these drums. All right, guys, we've got this awesome, gigantic box that we've got to open up. And hanging out in the room, in our uh, control room with us, is loads, loads of Vinny and Dime gear. We've got some of his guitars. We've got the famous clubhouse USA Custom Shop Dean, that was the last guitar that Dime ever ordered. There's that DW uh, or D-Drum snare that's brand new in the box that I was telling you about that's signed by 
all of the Dean guitar and door C's. Really, really awesome. There's, um, I think we've got some Saxon signatures, Michelangelo Battio as well. Loads of really cool stuff. And a few other Dean Razorbacks. There's a Razorback V with red bevels. We've got one of the Dimebolt Washburn 333s. And also the Correct Stealth that was made by Dean. When I say correct, the, it's the one that they made for the masses with the silver bevels and uh, a different headstock. It actually doesn't say Stealth on the headstock, as you can see. Really, really interesting stuff. On the one that Dimebag ordered has a totally different headstock and a totally different truss rod cover. We're gonna do another video on that. And like I said, you can see a massive unboxing video that's going viral right now with that guitar. I have a signature a sign photo of Vinny. I got this for a tenor like two months before he passed away. Um, and it just hangs on the wall here in the studio, but I brought it in just for this special video since we're showing off loads of his stuff. This is his signature kick pedal that I was showing you. Um, it still has Velcro on the bottom of it. He, this was in his house. This is what he played and it's his signature model. Then we got two pairs of boots. We've got some ox blood kind of wine red boots and some ostrich leather ones here with gold tips. Man, Vinny had some style. And they actually fit me, which I'm pretty psyched about. And now coming down here, we've got this giant box that we have to open. So let me grab a pair of scissors. This is a monstrous, very, very big box. I had to pay a lot of money to have shipped here. And we're gonna go ahead and rip this open and see all of the cool drums that are hiding inside. And we're also going to unfurl this. This is a massive, massive poster from Pearl announcing the new Vinnie Paul signature drum. So I'm gonna hand the camera over to my lovely assistant and we're gonna open this and see it all together. All right, guys, get excited. All right, guys, so I've got my scissors and we're gonna open this box up. But first I'm gonna show you this uh, massive pearl flag over here that we've got on our SSL mixing desk. So I'm just gonna open this up and get this all the way down. Man, this is really cool. Let me uh, put a weight on this, actually. That's why I've got this here. So we've got that there. And I'll just use my phone to do the rest. So it says Vinnie Paul Signature Snare. And you can see it's got the snake skin on it. VP1480. And that's because it's a 14 inch by eight inch monster snare drum. That thing is uh, epic. This is, I've never seen another one of these uh, marketing display pieces, and this was in Vinny's house. And now it's gonna go up on the wall here in our studio. All right, so now let's go and head on over to this box. And uh, all right, there we go. So I've got my scissors, all right? And we've got another camera over here, so I'm gonna go ahead now and open this box straight from Vinny's house in Texas all the way to us here in South End on Sea, England. Man. And they use the good tape, that is for sure. There we go. Super exciting. Lots of packing peanuts, of course. Man. And we've got certificates of authenticity uh, signed by Vinny's best friend, who actually was uh, the main person who inherited, who had the highest percentage of the estate, uh, according to TMZ. So let me just get these packing peanuts out. And this is how interesting this is the d drum snare serial number one now i've noticed it doesn't have the uh bullet point tips like we see on this other one and i don't know if that's um because they just didn't ship them with him 
or if it's in another box or what. But yes, this was serial number one. And I don't know where the serial numbers are on this. I'm just having a quick look, but we'll go ahead and get it out of the plastic and see if we can find that. All right, so here we've got, there's his signature on the front. There we go, guys. And my guess is his the serial number is going to be somewhere. Not quite sure. We'll just have to have a, a further look. Let's get to the rest of these snares, though. This thing is super, super cool. Okay, I'm going to put this on the sofa. Uh, Chesterfield, next snare drum. All right, I can already tell this is gonna be one of the pearls because this box is huge. All right, Vinnie Paul's Pearl Master Snare. This is definitely a prized possession for any drummer. Wow. Master Custom Maple Shell, Taiwan. Serial number is 179472. Stunning finish on this. Again, kind of like a wine red finish on the maple shell. There we go, guys. Really, really cool. Beautiful. All right, that's snare number two. I'll put that on the sofa. So this is the Pearl prototype signature. And this also has little stud points, much smaller than the D-drum ones. Go ahead and open this all up. Like I said, this was retired and put on the wall of Vinny's home on display for everyone to enjoy. This is really awesome. So epic, man. So let's get that signature showing. And these points are sharp, by the way. Like, watch this, see this cardboard right here? Watch me put these points down. See those holes? I almost put one through my hand there. <laughs> it is, uh, you have to wear your safety vest when you play this snare. There's a signature. There's a signature, guys. This is awesome. All right. Now I've had some of these in the past, but obviously I've never had the one owned by Vinny. And we've got another one lurking in here that I think has a slightly different shade of the, uh, the rattlesnake skin. So let me put this down. All right, we'll put it down on the floor over here. Okay. Packing peanuts everywhere. This one you can see, yeah, has a totally different snakeskin pattern on it and has been whacked quite a bit by Vinny. I love seeing that. Man, this is so cool to think that, you know, this is something that Vinny touched, held, set up, played. This has almost a uh, kind of like a, a green hue to the snake skin and doesn't have the diamond back uh, pattern, 
which is cool. I've never seen this before. And this is, uh, I guess, the other prototype that they had before launching the model that they went with to the public. This looks incredible. Really, really cool. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one down. Actually, let's have this one side by side with the Diamondback Rattlesnake. There we go. Now you can see the differences of the two. Points look like they're the same size, the pointy bits. Um, yeah, the height, the depth, the width all looks the same. Very, very cool. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go put these on the floor, out of harm's way. <laughs> At the end of this, I'll have all of the snare drums lined up. And just so you know, here in the UK, we're having like an insane heat wave and the studio is underground. So it's getting, uh, it's getting a bit warm in here. I'm getting a bit excited as we open these up. And this, oh, this is nice. All right, is this a signature snare? I can't remember which one this is. All right, so got a big winged skull and I believe this is someone else's signature model. It's definitely been whacked quite a bit. And just showing you there, but you can see, I'll have to put it in the notes, in the video, in the edit, I'll have it up there. All right, so we've got another snare. I'm running out of places to put snare drums. Okay. Oh, this looks cool. This looks really, really cool. This is the, uh, the hammered one that's in white. Wow. Look at this. You can even see where he's, uh, looks like he's hit the rim. There you go. This thing looks awesome. It's got some heft to it too. Good weight to it. All right. So let me kick these boxes out of the way. Give me a second. We'll adjust the angle and then we'll have all of the snare drums lined up. I'll probably put them on the desk. Okay, be right back. All right, guys, actually, we've got everything lined up behind me, but we do have one more unboxing video to do because hidden in the boxes was a pearl piccolo snare. Yes, so um, a little bonus content for you. Let's go ahead and get this cut open. There we go. Rip this up a bit. Man, this thing, he loved this piccolo snare. This has gotten a lot of use. Very cool. Oh man, this is so awesome. Just like, what a cool life experience having your favorite drummer's personal snare collection and then being able to have it at, um, at a studio for everyone to use and to play and to enjoy. Like, imagine coming here, recording a rock album, a metal album, and you get to play on Vinnie Paul's personal piccolo snare. I think that's so, so cool, guys. And um, it's just really nice as a studio to have not only a collection of awesome snare drums, like world-class snare drums owned by one of the most famous drummers in the world, but to have a story behind it to help like inspire you as an artist, that's what we're all about here, guys. So I'm gonna add this to uh, the collection behind me, and then we're gonna go and talk about everything here. 
This is pretty epic, guys. All right, guys, so we've got the whole snare collection here on our SSL Duality desk. This is nuts. So this is everything that Vinnie Paul personally owned that we got from his estate auction, and uh, as well as the snare that we happen to already have here at the studio with all of the signatures of the Dean endorsed guitarists and uh, artists from 2010 at the London Dean Owners Association party. Great, so kicking off, we've got his super famous original. This is the one they, that Pearl gave to him, the original uh, Pearl Vinnie Paul signature snare. And what's really cool is if you look at this, this uh, and has a Pearl, what does it say? Pearl super hoop centered on the top of the Pearl Vinnie Paul logo. It's the actual snare used in the huge giant marketing photo for Vinny for Pearl Drums when they launched his snare. How cool is that? So they gave him the poster with the photo of it and the snare itself. That's crazy. And you can see on the um, certificate, it's Vinny Paul used brown dark python signature prototype snare drum. Then we come over here, silver boa, silver boa. This thing, whoop, wrong way on the camera, sorry about that. Has a totally different pattern that was never used. So this is one of one owned by Vinny on display in his home. And you can see quite a big difference on the, uh, the pattern and the color of the two. So this is the only one in the world and it is rather incredible that we have it here at a recording studio in England. Vinny loved coming to England. You could catch him at a pub in London uh, when he'd pass through on tour. And um, you know, it's just incredible that we can offer this for artists to touch, use, play, record with, incredible. Now check this out. I kind of misspoke when I did the unboxing of this snare. This is the D-Drum prototype snare drum. I believe in the auction, they said it has a serial number of number one. Now, I thought it was missing the little bullet points, but actually look at the pattern here. Look like right here, this is sealed off. This is made this way, it's meant to be. But see how this is like a single uh, unit with, a, with one piece in the middle there? On the actual D drum that we see over here, you don't have that going all the way down you have and you have two separate things with the bullets so that is really really special very cool then over here i forgot uh i forgot the signature on this this is a sean drover d drum signature snare also quite big not as big as vinnie's but looks super awesome then we've got the signature drum pedal fully unboxed there you go you see vinnie's name there and you see his signature scratched in at the top there. This thing got a lot of use, as we can see. Um, both pairs of his boots, these are listed as Dan Post boots and ostrich leather with the gold tips, and then kind of ox blood wine red leather there, and I'm super psyched that they fit me. Coming across, Pearl Masters, Pearl Masters Custom, snare maple shell this is like the creme de la creme that you find in recording studios with a wine red finish beautiful looks good sounds good there's a coa and Vinny loved golf here you've got a golf hammered uh snare drum from d drum this was part of his collection and uh even going back over here to the strip club guitar, the last one ever ordered by Dean. It's got the, the strip club logo, has a, a golf club and a golf, a flag for that, you know, the hole in one on the golf course. We've got that. A very well used Pearl Piccolo snare drum with the COA, as we can see. And I mean, this is just an amazing collection, guys. All of this can be used. If you wanna come play on Vinny's kick pedal, on his signature snare. Knock yourself out, guys. That's what we're here for. This is for fun, all right?
1000%. And I've got big old goosebumps right now because Vinny, hands down my favorite drummer of all time, Dimebag, his brother, my hands down favorite guitarist of all time. So to have stuff with this kind of connection to the brothers is um, just beyond special. Far beyond special, guys. All right, well, I gotta get out of here because I have to go put this stuff away and get ready to do more videos. And we'll, we'll get into more detail. I'll do another one about just the story behind my connection to Pantera, how I discovered them, uh, talking more in depth with all of these individual drums. But we just wanted to do a really special unboxing and kind of share the moment with all of the fans around the world. Just on this guitar over here, we're getting thousands and thousands of views a day, rightly so. We're gonna do a more in-depth video on it. But um, on these, on these snare drums, same thing. But, you know, unboxing it, seeing it for the very first time, there's just something special. And I didn't wanna do it all by myself here underground in South End on Sea, England. I really did wanna share the moment with all you guys. So if you appreciated it, uh, we always appreciate the super thanks on the channel. Helps keep the lights on here. It helps us do more special stuff like this. So leave us a super thanks. And aside from that, just make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more cool stuff coming at Essex Recording Studios and all the socials. Other than that, guys, just uh, crack open a cold one, enjoy your night, and stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. We are just getting warmed up on the channel. All right, guys, I'll catch you soon. Let me see if I can do a little selfie mode on this gimbal I'm holding here. All right, I don't know how I look, but uh, hopefully I'm in focus. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, this has been a really special moment. I'll catch you later. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you wanna see more content from the studio, click up here and up here to see the latest vids. And make sure you join our family by clicking subscribe and like. It's one of these two. Thanks a lot, guys. And if you really liked what you saw, hit super like. See you next time.